Hey Leo, welcome to your weekly forecast for November 28th through December 4th. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising. You may stumble upon this video after the time frame I mentioned. That's just fine. You're going to see it whenever you're meant to see it, whenever it's time to uh, receive the messages that are in here. Keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, so not every single message is going to resonate, and that's okay. Take what does, leave what doesn't. So without further ado, my dears and my darlings, we're going to connect here and see what messages are coming up for the Leo Collective, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising. Oops, move you all just a little bit closer. And the first card coming up here for the Leo Collective is the Hierophant. Major Arcana card. Major Arcana cards are going to come up anytime it's a significant new chapter in our life. It's a significant crossroads. It's a defining moment. So even though I'm setting the intention for a seven-day period of time, this isn't going to be wrapped up in seven days. Things are happening in the next seven days that are setting things in motion or that are like bringing us into a, a significant you know, period in our life. And the Hierophant is much about commitment. It could be truth, uh, priorities, principles, beliefs, commitment. Sometimes it can have to do with marriage. Um, so some of you could be focusing on marriage, uh, strengthening an existing marriage or manifesting a healthy marriage. Um, it could be other things having to do with your belief systems. Uh, intuitively, the vibe that I'm getting, Leo, is like healing commitment issues and the ability uh, to trust, to trust that somebody is coming in with good intentions. And this doesn't only have to be in love life. It could also be um, like in terms of belief systems or organizations. Maybe some of you had very negative experiences um, in the past with uh, faith or uh, with uh, like uh, organized uh, religion or, or or churches and now I feel like you may be coming into the energy where you're like okay I had a negative experience with you know these organizations or this organization but that doesn't mean that I can't believe in something that doesn't mean that I can't have a spiritual relationship or a connection. So in other words, I feel like you're kind of re-examining your beliefs, your belief systems. And some of you may be uh, examining and kind of like meshing together uh, traditional beliefs that you grew up with, with some of the more metaphysical stuff or like the quote unquote new agey stuff. Uh, you may be figuring out how these things actually go hand in hand and aren't aren't against one another. So I feel there could be something in terms of defining your beliefs and like finding your faith again. Like something may have happened along the way that caused you to lose your faith in people, in humanity, in love, um, in God. And I feel there's a sense here, Leo, of like getting your faith back. Getting your faith back, becoming very clear about what you believe. Uh, sometimes this card can come up for me in readings to say that you're coming into a time where you're going to have to make some decisions or choices. And it's reminding us to make our decisions based on faith instead of fear and making our decisions based on our beliefs, our core values. What do we value? What do we value? And as long as we're making our decisions based on these uh, beliefs, we're going to find that we're in this energy of uh, like building permanence in our life. The things that are actually going to last and be permanent versus a temporary fixes, temporary solutions and seasonal situations. Uh, so really coming into stability, security uh, and lifelong um, the things that we're, we're building that are going to be lifelong. The next card that's coming up for the Leo Collective here is the Eight of Swords. And this is fear, right? And as I said, sometimes the Hierophant comes up for me to say, make your decision based on faith and not on fear. 
Eight of Swords, we might be feeling trapped in a situation. And we may be seeking help. So Leo, having the Hierophant come up with the Eight of Swords together next to each other gives me a feeling or a situation you may be feeling very overwhelmed right now. You may be feeling very overwhelmed and you may be thinking to yourself, my hands are really tied in this situation. I can't seem to get any relief. I can't seem to make it any better. And it's kind of like you're looking at uh, the universe and just saying like, when are you going to change this? Or when are you going to fix this? Or when are you going to, uh, you know, help me get out of this situation? Or when are things going to turn around for me? And so you may be seeking or wanting somebody to come in and um, like kind of uh, rescue you in a situation or uh, like show you the way out, maybe like do some hand holding. And I'm not saying this in like a, a negative way. I mean, these are basic human needs that we have as humans. We want that sometimes we need some hand holding sometimes. Um, but in this particular situation, Eight of Swords comes up to tell us that we're not as stuck as we think we are. And the situation's not as bad as we think it is. Specifically, and this is coming in intuitively, Leo, I feel like a lot of you are freaking out because you feel like you're running out of time. And, and, you're, and you're thinking like it didn't get fixed in time. Maybe you were wanting something before the holidays came around. And now the holidays are, are upon us. And you might be saying it's not happening in time or it was supposed to be done by this time. I feel like some of you are feeling stressed out or feeling uh, like, like time. Time is... is uh, one of the things that's making you feel stuck in the situation. And the Eight of Swords wants you to know that you may be seeking help or guidance from uh, people in your current circle who aren't necessarily the best for you. And when we step out of that circle, right, we start to see the higher vibrational stuff or the higher vibrational people. Uh, she's not that stuck. This little band around her is not around her that tight. She can get out of that very easily. Her arms even have plenty of uh, room to move here. Um, she can pull off that blindfold and see that there's plenty of space to walk forward. Uh, she can even take some of these swords and use them as tools or sell them and make money. You know, like she, uh, she has a lot that she can work with. And so I feel here like there's some solutions that we're not giving ourselves permission uh, to do or to get going because we're thinking that we need somebody to come in and do this with us. And I feel like the Eight of Swords is saying, have faith, get started. And along the way, the, the right things are going to show up or fall into place. But you got to get moving to get out of the current circle because the current circle, there may be um, you know, people who are putting the pressure on you to figure everything out or trying to take advantage in some way. And so it's time to have faith and have trust and give yourself permission to, to get going on these ideas, to get going uh, on the things that you're wanting to do. Um, it's, it's almost like there's some of you, there's things you're wanting to do in your life, but you're waiting to find the right person to do it with. And that doesn't have to be romantic. It could be finding the right friends or finding the soul family or, you know, like finding somebody to go do stuff with you. And this is saying that once you get going and start doing this, then you're going to find somebody to do stuff with. Then you're going to find the relationship. Then you're going to find the friendships. Then you're going to find the soul family. But you got to get moving. You got to get moving because in the current energy, you've outgrown this energy. It's not your energy anymore. And to find the like-minded people and to find the people that are in the flow with you, you have to step out of the current circle and start doing the things you're feeling guided to do or that are, that are calling to you. The next card here is the Seven of Wands. And this is just keep moving forward. You have the right idea. There's no need to rush right now. There's no need to be like super extra or feel like you have to be a maverick. You have the right idea. So it's being consistent and staying on the path, staying on the course. As I said, I feel for some reason, and this is coming in intuitively, that some of you are freaking out about time. Like you're thinking something should have happened by now. 
And so maybe you're wanting to hurry things up or rush things along. And the Seven of Wands is saying you don't have to rush anything along. Right? Just stay the course. You've got the right idea. Just be consistent and you're going to see progress. You're going to see change. Some of you are dealing, Leo, with someone who is like trying to pull you away from your values or your beliefs or like they're telling you to do things in a different way. You might feel like this is selling out or you might feel like this is going against your beliefs. And the Seven of Wands is telling you, listen to that and stay true to you. Stay true to your course. Sometimes the Seven of Wands for me comes up because somebody is like pulling us off our path or telling us to do things in a different way. And Seven of Wands is saying, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, it could even be that this is the reason why you're feeling like you're running out of time. Somebody might be putting this into your head. And I feel like the Hierophant at the Foundation is saying, look, focus on your spiritual connection. Focus on your relationship with higher power. Focus on the relationship with your angels and with your guides. Because right now in this situation, um, you may have somebody who's coming in and like making you feel like you're doing everything wrong or like you don't have the right idea or you're out of touch in some kind of way. But this is taking you away from your core. It's taking you, you away from your ethics. It's taking you away from um, like your core beliefs and... Uh, if you listen to that, that's going to really take you off course and uh, you're going to find yourself wanting to uh, come back to what you were doing before. So I feel there could be somebody who's, I don't, I don't know if I want to say being a negative influence, but like the devil on your shoulder or somebody who's really discouraging you or making you feel like uh, you don't know what you're doing or you should have been a lot further by now. And this is saying you got to uh, block that out. You got to shut that down, right? Focus on what you know to be true. Uh, focus on your path. Because um, I feel like there's somebody that's rushing you. And you might know they're rushing you. It could be about a relationship. It could be about financial matters. Like maybe they're wanting you to invest in something or to do something very quickly. And you have to stop and listen. Uh, listen to what your inner guidance is guiding you to do. The next card that's coming up here for the collective is the Two of Cups. And this is giver meets giver. This could be true love energy. Um, a soulmate energy. And so this could be reminding you of this is what a healthy relationship looks like. This looks like two people helping each other or, or, or giving to each other. So in other words, I feel like some of you are dealing with a situation where you have someone who's really rushing you to hurry up and get something done. But they may not be contributing. They may not be helping, right? It's like you're doing something and I'm here and I'm I'm being the uh criticizer and i'm saying oh you're not doing it right or oh you should hurry up or oh you should be done by now but i'm not i'm not rolling up my sleeves i'm not getting involved i'm not helping so this could be a wonderful opportunity for a lot of you leos to break out of the cycle of like negative criticism without support without any kind of help um and so i feel like as you're staying true to your path and being in the seven of wands you're going to align with this Two of Cups energy. Someone who's stepping up, someone who's helping, someone who is uh, committed, someone who's coming in with like, how can I help you? Versus hurry up, get it done, you're taking too long. Right? And you're going to find that by staying true to your uh, beliefs, your cores, your values, uh, listening to your inner instinct versus allowing this person to bully you or pressure you um, into doing what they're wanting you to do. And it might be under the guise of like a relationship, right? But I feel here this is criticism. Criticism without help, without support, everything being on your shoulders. And that's not fair, Leo. You don't need that, you know? Um, and so I feel like there's, a, there's an opportunity here to make a shift, to shift into relationships, partnerships, friendships, marriages, 
uh, with people who are going to have your back and not criticize, but come in and help. And some of you are going to have to break out of the current cycle by not allowing somebody to pressure you or bully, bully you into changing your course or changing your path for them um, and whatever negativity they may be uh, putting out there. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks your moon sign or rising sign might resonate more. There is a link in the description that will take you to the scheduling page if you want to schedule a private reading with me calendly.com slash amethyst angelite so you can check out the links in the description for the playlists and for scheduling a reading i thank you all for watching liking sharing commenting subscribing i hope you all have a fabulous week ahead take care and be well my darlings